I'm ready. All right, sweet. Go All for right. it. I'm Ron Finch, graduated in 1959, so I'm actually Kelly. Sweet. So you're the first year, too. Yeah, it was the very first year, yeah, in the fall of... 58, of course, this is when we started all together, so okay. so which was quite an experience. Yeah. <laughs> so how many kids went to uh, your uh, school in, in Kelly? In my class from Kelly, I think there were six boys and maybe just two or three girls. Mm. But we'd been going to Huxley for 10 years before Ballard ever started, so okay. it wasn't like it was a totally new deal for us. Yeah. Because we were used to going to Huxley. And it, uh, Compared to maybe the Cambridge and Slater kids, probably it was a little bigger deal to them because mm -hmm. something really new, you know. So. Mm -hmm. But we had a good time. So what was what was your guys' like nicknames back then? The what then? Like before Ballard, what was your guys' nicknames? Well, it was the Huxley Vikings. Vikings, okay. Vikings. That's Norwegian. Yeah. That's, that's I would say back, I'm not Norwegian. Yeah. <laughs> Huxley was probably 98% Norwegian back then. So. Really? But you know, even though I was from Kelly, it uh, it was it was never Kelly Huxley. It was the Vikings. You know, we were all yep. totally together. I can't believe how well we blended together. Mm -hmm. And that was the ones before me even. So it, it just worked out perfect. And I think we all respected each other, and we all added to the, particularly in sports. Yeah. You know, we all got together and worked out great, really. So. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. First question. What does it mean to be a Ballard Bomber? Well, for my age group or class, you mm -hmm. know, we were the first ones, first graduating class of Ballard, and we yeah. also picked out the the Bomber nickname. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole high school did, but yeah. I remember there was Cardinals and something else, and for some reason we ended up with the Bombers, and so we were the ones that picked that name, not just my class, the whole high school. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So I don't know if we did it right or not, but that's what it is. I love it. So yeah, good. Well, yeah, it fits in with the Ballard. That yeah, gets done it for. We bring the thunder. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> All right, number two. Uh, what is it about your Ballard education that gave you just uh, gave you base to start your career well, slash future? I would say probably the social part. So meeting, we knew a lot of the kids that were played sports and mm -hmm. before this, but just meeting new people and being part of it and and. Uh, I'd say as far as, we had a fantastic English teacher, Mrs. Maywald, who taught yeah. for years. She lived in Cambridge, but even if you were somebody maybe didn't want to be in her class, you were still going to learn something. She was mm -hmm. fantastic. And she'd probably be the one teacher, if I'd have to look back, that really helped us a lot. You know, and she was so dedicated. Yeah. She loved her work, but uh, that would be one thing. And. Uh, in first class, there was a business law class too, which I hope there's something like that today. Yep. Because uh, that class was very important way back then. You know, you talk about interest and mm -hmm. you know just normal business that everybody has every day. Yeah. That's a very important class. I, I, I like the instructor, and but that was very good. So. Uh, they, they have a they have a class called the uh, money sense now. Yeah, so well, that's they, good. So young people need that. You yeah, know, and I think when I graduate, well, when the year I graduate is going to be a required class. It should be. Yeah, that's why I think too. Because there's so much out there that you, can, if you don't know what you're doing, you can get taken advantage of and mm -hmm. get yourself in a financial bind, you know. And yeah. You have to understand money. I don't care what your occupation is. If you don't, you're in trouble. So. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Yeah. All right, number three. What takeaways from school have helped you in your career slash future? No, career slash life. Well, I ended up in agriculture. I didn't think I was going to be there because during my time, most of the farm dads say, oh, you don't want to farm, you want a desk job. You know, that was a common thing they'd yeah. say. And so I was kind of anti-farm for a while, but then I uh, went to AIB in Des Moines, American Institute of Business, learned how to run IBM machines. Okay. And went worked in Cedar Rapids for a few months, and I realized, you know, this is not for me. So yeah. I actually ended up farming <laughs> and uh, selling Pioneer seed, which was good. So, but uh, just meeting people, you know, yeah. and being able to talk to people, because so many occupations, you you have to be able to do that, you know, mm -hmm. and be comfortable. So that would probably be the main thing, probably. That's uh, that's kind of that's kind of cool how you went to do. 
like yeah. a, a desk job, but then you're like, this isn't well. This isn't for me. Then you went. To maybe for everybody, they ought to do something more than maybe what, the, unless they really know exactly for sure what they're going to do. Yep. Just, that way, you have something to compare it with, and that was that was good for me. It really was. That was a, even though it didn't work out like I was thinking it was, it was still a good experience and yeah. time well spent. So. All right, sweet. That's awesome. Uh, what traditions were part of your Ballard experience? Oh, I would say for a lot of my closest friends, it was athletics. We all liked yeah. sports, and and actually the girls were really good. In 1959, they went to the state tournament, which really? was a big deal back then. The girls' basketball mm -hmm. pretty well dominated, and then they... Uh, they got down to the final eight, but then they had to play Gladbrook, who was so dominant, and they got beat. But then Gladbrook won the state tournament that year and also mm -hmm. the next year. Just wow. big, strong girls. And, but a lot of people don't realize Ballard went to state tournament basketball and girls the yeah. first year they were here. So that's good. So that that was that was exciting. That really yeah. was. So um, that was that was that that was right. Where veteran, that's in veterans, right? Did, yeah. Did they have veterans up there? Vets Auditorium, you know, of course we thought that was huge. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and it was back then. Yeah. They called it the barn, you know. And, yeah. And, uh, but that was exciting. And mm -hmm. I'm sure for the girls to stay in Des Moines in a hotel, you know, it was, yeah. that was the ultimate, really, back then. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so Ballard got, well, Ballard's been in the state several times since then, but, yeah. but back then it was just, uh, of course, there were so many schools to get to the state tournament. You played sectional, district, yeah. sub-states, because there was all these little schools. You couldn't just get there by winning a game or two. No, you got to So it was quite a process, and that was exciting. So. Mm -hmm. And baseball, that was my thing, and yeah. my friends. We played a lot of baseball, and, and we won a high percent of our games and uh, played against some really good people, but uh, we, had a, we had a lot of fun playing baseball. That's good. So what position did you play? Third base. Third base? Third base ever since I was eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried to be a third baseman, but well, the second no, base did, was for it was me. Just, in Kelly, we happen to have the Schaefer family. You've heard of Larry Schaefer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, when they moved to town, Larry and I started school together, and their dad was crazy about baseball, and he had three boys, so he's, we were way ahead of our times. He formed, uh, took us all over to other small towns playing baseball, mm -hmm. starting when we were eight years old. So we had a huge advantage when we got to high school. We played so much baseball, yep. and uh, and he took it very serious. I mean, it was, it was boy, it was a big deal if he won, won or lost. So, yeah. but I appreciate the fact he was there because otherwise I wouldn't have got to play as much as we did. So yeah, but, uh, he gave you memories. So. Yeah, no, it was good. That's awesome. And by the way, Larry Schaefer was the darndest competitor I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> we were ten days apart in age. Yeah. I don't care what you're playing, cards, ping pong, mm -hmm. whatever, it was for blood. Yeah. You know? it, That's just the way it was. He's gone now, but uh, yeah. I, I was glad he was there because uh, we, we did a lot of things together. So. All right, sweet. Number five, if you could use one word to describe Ballard, what word would it be? Well, I think Ballard, well, first of all, we're in a wonderful location. I mean, mm -hmm. between Ames and Des Moines, a lot of school districts would give anything to have our location. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, as students or people living around here, we don't realize how good we have it, you know, mm -hmm. and we got access to everything we want, and, and we're actually a smaller district geographically, which is nice. Yeah. You know, you can get from Cambridge to Huxley in three miles, later three or four, and Kelly four or five. I mean, not many districts are mm -hmm. that close with yeah. four towns, which is a big advantage. and. Uh, there was a lot of scuttlebutt about schools at one time, but yeah. that's pretty well over with. You know, we're mm -hmm. all basically one, I would say. Yeah. It's always tough when you have towns that used to play each other in sports and now yeah. they're trying to go together, you know. And, <laughs> and it's the older people. Yeah. That would, and But the kids always, we got a long time. We got a great school district. We are so mm -hmm. lucky to be yeah. in this area, so. What I love about it is, like, it, like Ankeny is like, and Ankeny and Ames are like the same amount of distance between yeah. us, and then, so like if one place is packed, but the other place isn't, you know, it's not like an hour drive. To no, it. So. no, and, and even in the little town of Kelly, we don't have any business anymore to speak of. Like yeah. everyone's growing up, but 
we're five minutes away from High Bee McDonald's mm -hmm. or whatever, you know. So yeah. it has very little effect on my life. So, but we're very lucky to live here. So yeah. All right, sweet. That's all I needed.